Hey everyone! Uh, yeah. It's funny that I'm making a Let's Rage whatever of Cheetah Men 2 when I haven't even played the first Cheetah Men game, but I don't know, I don't think it's really necessary in this instance. I think the quality of this game speaks for itself, you don't really need any additional context to it. Okay, uh, Dr. Morphus, Apollos, Hercules, and Ares. We must help the Cheetah Man fight Dr. Morbus and his evil team of mutants. Well, I... Stop Dr. Morbus before it's too late. Before it's too late for the Cheetah Man. Uh, you cannot let him destroy the Cheetah Man. Well, your shitty marketing and you, uh, promotional tactics kind of did that for you. I was gonna... The fuck? Okay. So far, everything is pit just mm, 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 perfect. Look at this. Look at these graphics. Look at them graphics. I can't duck. It's beautiful. And the jumping animation is basically me being launched into the air uh, without actually bending my knees or doing anything that would indicate that I am jumping. And enemies disintegrate upon hitting me. I had no way to dodge that at all. I mean, to be f if I had to, I I died from jumping an inch too high. Okay, there's an invisible enemy there. I there's no way I could have possibly hidden that. Like I'm trying to see if like there's a way. Right now, like, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm trying to see if there's a way to shoot at a better angle, but no. Because the jumping is so janky, I can't pinpoint a good spot to hit these enemies, and... Fuck me. And it's made even worse by the fact that my fucking projectile weapon is too goddamn small. Oh, wonderful. Now it's just fucking up on me. The last thing I need when a game when it comes to a game like this is technical difficulties, alright? I'm okay, I'm doing reverse jumping. Don't jump in the air when you're on one of those blocks because you'll disintegrate as soon as you hit the ground, apparently. Now, you see that pillar there at night? Wouldn't uh, intuitive design kind of dictate that that might be something you can jump on? Since it kind of stands out and it's there for no reason, and for some reason the th Mario style three blocks is here. God damn it! Okay, and I don't think there are checkpoints, so I'm gonna have to basically reset every single time. And I keep tr like, there's a slight... No, it's just, I guess it's just me. I, I forgot about that. How the flying fuck did AVGM make any progress with this piece of shit? In the first game there was a jumping glitch, and I was hoping I could try to redo it, but apparently it's on this one. One of the few times I've ever been sad that they fixed an aspect of a game. Well, fix is kind of subjective in this opinion, in this way of thinking. Ugh. Seriously, what the fuck are any of these enemies supposed to be? Okay, that's a bird. That's a snake. That's, uh... Uh... It's a cross between a pill bug and an anteater. That's blind. And for some... It doesn't... It moves by gliding in the air, because I see that animation of, of its legs moving, and it's basically... Like, I don't think it's even touching the ground that much. Its feet are just kind of sweeping along the ground. Stop it! Why are these blocks here? I mean, like, if I could give some defense towards this game, and it's less because of um, any real credit towards it, more because uh, it kind of excuses a bit of it. The people who designed the Cheetah Man game in Action 52 were just amateur game designers who really wanted a break, and the guy who essentially hired them was kind of a... A snake oil salesman. If you haven't heard, read the, uh, uh, not read up, uh, but there are videos on YouTube about the history of the, uh, is that, am I gonna drop down and die? I'm not gonna take the chance. 
There are videos about the history of Cheetah Men, and they're really fascinating to watch. Uh, I forgot about the fucking jump thing, and I died. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I totally don't hope that you uh, accidentally drop a toaster in the bathtub while you're taking a shower. But yeah, like, the, the history behind Cheetah Men is more fascinating than the game itself. Like, there was a lot of ambition in the project from the, in the part of the designers, but they just didn't have enough to get done. If anything, uh, the fact that they were able to put out something like this in only a few days, I think it was only a, f I think it was only a few days, if I remember correctly, um, shows that they had real potential to actually make something decent if you give them enough time. But unfortunately, they weren't given enough time because the guy who, uh, petitioned to make that game was essentially a snake oil salesman and didn't give a fuck about general quality. There was no way I could have avoided that. I have to basically tiptoe through this level and hope that I can move just quick enough to avoid enemies spawning randomly. I remember complaining about Beauty and the Beast, Roar of the Beast, for how annoying enemy placement was, and how they just seemed to spawn on a dime, giving you little chance to react, and how ineffective your attack was in dealing with enemies that were positioned in a way that it was very inconvenient to try and attack them. It applies here, except multiply that tenfold. Because at least in Beauty and the Beast, Roar of the Beast, I had an attack that if aim I could easily, like, eventually aim properly to dispatch them. Like, I had the, the the pouncing attack. It was still somewhat useful. Here, I have this dinky little fucking crossbow. And you would think, you would think that having a projectile weapon would be a convenience in a situation like this when this game is just throwing enemies at me, but no. It's actually proven to be to my detriment. Ah! I like the skulls everywhere, too. That's fucking fantastic. Like, seriously, can someone, like, contact the developers of the Action 52 games? And I don't mean, like, to, 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 like, harass them or anything like that. I want to know if they're still making stuff. I do honestly think that the, like, how am I supposed to fucking... Ugh. I do honestly think that there is potential in a lot of what they've done. The problem is, they were headed by some guy who didn't really know or care about what he was doing. I got a tiptoe. I got a tiptoe. What hit me there? Th that was the sound of me being hit. What the fuck hit me? And then there's the invisible swordsman spazzing out down there. And I love how his animation doesn't even require him to change which direction he's facing. See what I had to do? I had to basically, like, go the screen into moving for me. And right there, like, there was a- what, what the fuck could I have done? Uh, and I- it annoys the piss out of me how the music stops with every single time something gets hit. damn wolves. And really, in the context of the game, like, I'm supposed to be fighting mutant animals and shit, right? Like, are the... I mean, a green hawk is kind of weird. No, to be... Yeah. Looking at that fucking abomination, just just phasing through uh, every single piece of matter, I guess you can make the argument that it's mutated. Oh, Jesus Christ. Someone explain to me, uh, is there, are, are there game shark, well, game, action, I don't know, G game genie codes for this? Because that's the, uh, that's the only way I can fathom, uh, James Rawl being able to make any progress in this game. Otherwise, I, I think he just is some kind of weird miracle hacker or some shit. Oh, so oh, <laughs> I picked up. Uh, there's nothing I can do there. And again, I I could, you could make the argument. Well, let me see. I have to basically time it when I'm going down, but I descend so slowly that it's not going to work. There we go. 
Let me let me tell you, like most satisfying crossbow of the year. Mm, mm, beautiful. Uh, those shit developers, developers at Bethesda, should have really taken note on how to program a crossbow from from fucking Cheetah Men too. Look at this. You hear that? How this music stops with every single impact. Now that's how you should have a crossbow in a video game. See how there's no animation of him actually shooting the crossbow, it just kind of comes out of his being. And if you stay still, you don't even raise the crossbow to shoot. Like right here. See, I'm shooting it out of my chest. Like Joggy would shoot needles out of his mouth. Ah, uh, shit. And that thing was no one near, nowhere near me. But you know what? Hit the hitboxes are fucked in this game, and for some reason I can't get up here now. Oh. I need to be on the very tip edge. And it sucks because this music is actually. I mean, I get the sneaking suspicion it's the only piece of music in the game outside of what was on the title screen, but it's surprisingly catchy. And I got another game over. Like, I can't even get a decent game over screen. I, I... Like, my, my brain is just basically shutting down. That's why I'm just getting hit indiscriminately at this point. Fuck off! God, fucking mutant anteater cocksucker. Oh! I actually hit it. Awesome. No, 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 no. That guy died. That's sad. Ever that just that just that just peels my potatoes, as the hip young millennials would say. See, it, I just need to make sure that I get jumped just enough to where I can advance the screen where he appears, but not too far enough to where that stupid ant eater thing appears. What's the name of that Pokemon that has a really weird nose that is like a dream Pokemon from po Black and White? Yeah, that, that anteater thing, now I think about it, it looks like a cross between that and a cockroach. Look at it. Except it's not really doing anything dream related. Or maybe the cross between that and Army Ant, because Army Ants are blind. And they can wreck your shit up. Okay, my theory about it just gliding was correct. I've never been so- uh, No! I made progress. I- I'm more than certain I could get past this level if I had enough patience. But, unfortunately I am not one of those people who have a vast quantity of that attribute. And I love how that stupid ant eater thing can hit me from one tile away, but that hawk can't for some reason. I, I forgot about the jumping shit bullshit. Die. Please die. Duh. Okay, sometimes... I can make that if I get let it get just close enough, but the problem is that, you, that stupid hawk is usually coupled with something else coming from below. Then again, then again, I could probably, like, jump over that too, but I'm not sure if I can get in the air fast enough to dodge. Okay, I actually have all my health so far, which is an achievement in this game. So, basically, you have to play this game as if you're playing a game of, uh, you know, avoid the tiles that are hot lava, whatever the name of that game is. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> No, don't kill me. Okay, the wolves aren't mutated, though. They don't look different. They look shitty, but they don't look like... I can tell that they're fucking wolves, or maybe they're just dogs. Oh, no, we're doing cross-breeding when it comes to Pokemon. That's a mutated Zatu. 
That thing that ran, runs up my legs is a radiated Mightyana. I don't know what the sword guy is. Maybe it's like just some guy who happens to be invisible who wield is wielding a sword. Come on, god damn it. I have no time for your shenanigans, good sir. Okay. Tip, baby steps. Ah uh, ha. Fuck you. Another hawk is coming, I know it. I know it. I feel it on my bones. <laughs> I have four piece bits of health, so I can do the okay. Yeah, yes. Oh, oh, fuck me. I'm almost there. I'm almost. Oh. Fuck you, Mighty Anna. You can't spell Mighty Anna without Anima. Oh, it's just level two. Just what the fuck? Okay, now there's an annoying jumping sound. Wonderful. That's <laughs> just fu- Ah! Jesus Christ! I, fuck you! Get AIDS and die! I'm shooting tornadoes with a crossbow. Of course I am. And now there's an animation for when they die. I- Okay, apparently this tornado only advances when the screen is not crunched. So I can't, like, hopefully just- ho Just- Yeah, this is annoying. Okay, what the fuck? Like, sometimes they disappear off screen, sometimes they don't now? Is that how this game works? Stop changing the rules on me, game! Please. Can I do the jumping glitch and just go over the top? What? What? The fuck? The fuck was that? No, 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 please. What in the fuck was that? This, is there a. There was a hidden block up there, apparently. Was it like a- What was that? And now these things walk in a pattern now? When they previously did not have any pattern besides going straight forward? Oh god, thank god I dropped that. Okay. I'm starting to think that James Rawl played this with an emulator and just save stated. I can't wrap my head around any possible other explanation. If only I could kneel and shoot. Okay, I gotta time this right. Ugh! Oh, fuck off! I could barely even see that thing! Cause everything- Why are the colors so fucking... Just... Bright? This is not a good palette choice is all I'm saying. God damn it! You know what it is? I think it's the fact- there are no outlines on anything. Why? There's a reason why outlines are used when it comes to bright colors. It's so that you can distinguish what isn't part of the background. And right there, it blended in with that stupid bone pillar. Oh god. Is there a cheat code so I can go? <laughs> One more try and that's it. I That's, this game, I am not, like, trying to make the case that this game is in any way redeemable. Like, if you honestly think so, then I don't know what to tell you. You, you, I, I, th I respect your opinion, but I think we need to revoke your, uh, voter's registration. Come on. Practice makes perfect. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, like... It says something when this is not the... I don't know. I would rather play playing the Chester Cheetah game for SNES. And that game is a load of bollocks and it gargles gonads. But it's still more well designed than this. I mean, I, I will concede that this game is infinitely more interesting than the Chester Cheetah games on any, SNES. Stupid snakes, and... Seriously, that looks like something out of a Lovecraftian horror novel. 
fuck knows. The demon that sweeps across the nation and just steals the anuses of the innocent. That's a trick. There are no innocent anuses. I'm almost there, you fucker. Edja! Uh. There is a. St uh, what circle of hell have I entered into? I had to backwards jump in order to avoid enemies. This is fucking Dracula X all over again. Except, I'm not having fun. Say what you want about Castlevania Dracula X. The soundtrack kicks ass, and the graphics look good. It's hard as balls, and it's unjustly difficult, and it's a kind of a butchered port, but at least it's enjoyable. No, okay, let's look at that. What the fuck is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to... Did they make some kind of mistake where... That's supposed to be a knight or some shit? And they made a mistake with a palette and accidentally, like, deleted a layer and patch it, put it in there anyway? Aha! Fuck you. Yeah. I'm getting- okay, I'm- Why did I do that? I'm starting to get the hang of this. Which is kind of... bad. I should not be used to this kind of control scheme. Like, can you imagine, like, someone who's played this game, and only this game for years, and then playing a game like Super Mario, and how fucked up their gaming skills would be? Like, imagine trying to play Mario with this kind of control scheme. Mario, like, Mario explodes if he falls off a, like, jumps off a block too high. Goombas can kill Mario by touching him, despite being too far away. Okay, I, I, I can get that. I can get that, no problem. Yeah! I, I honestly think I should have been hit there, but, yeah, I'm not complaining. That could have, like, fucked my shit up that day. It did. Yes. Nope. Eat it, bitches! Duh, damn it. Yeah. You know, it's. I, I know the, 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 the grunting noises when I jump is. over that hawk is annoying, but. I don't know, it's like, I feel like there's a level of exertion going on here. I'm just playing a video game, and I have to, like, give it my ironclad focus as if I'm doing some kind of strenuous activity. Why isn't this thing disappearing? And why was there a block there? That stupid fucking invisible block that screwed me over. And now, the hit detection is actually doing its goddamn job and not letting that thing hit me? Who... Who was in charge of the hitboxes in this game? And I'm back to one health here, which is, I guess, customary. I'm not even back to square one. We've restarted the game entirely. Someone threw the pieces across the board and ripped the board in half, and I had to basically fucking stitch it back together. That is where we are. Ah! Disappear. Disappear. God damn it, you fucking tornado cocksucker. <laughs> All that tornado does is suck other tornadoes' dicks. Anyone remember reading that stupid article where it's saying that names of hurricanes are sexist because they're more known to be like, oh, they're feminine names. It was like, oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> it's always... What is- what is that? Is that like I don't understand the mind- the, the, the fucking thought process behind putting an invisible block there. Or what that thing is even supposed to be. Oh, fuck me. Please go away. Oh, I actually have two hit points here. That's how you know I'm a hard motherfucking G. <laughs> oh, God, ah! Like, 
the only way you can make some modicum of progress in this game is to just memorize the all of the enemies and how they're placed and their movement patterns. You ha basically have to be the Billy Mitchell of Cheetah Man 2 players in order to fucking make any progress. This game has very unreasonable standards for its audience. Ah, oh, God! Like, could you imagine, like, some, uh, like, fucking tournaments where people play Cheetah Man and see who gets the farthest? We call it Cheetah Palooza. That's a stupid name now that I think about it. I want to see if that that does anything. Like, what the fuck is the point of that invisible block? You, you know what's the problem here? The problem is... When it comes to shitty games that don't work well, uh, there are some aspects of level design that most gamers take to be intuitive. If there's an invisible block, uh, invisible block there, it's there for a reason. If there's a ladder right next to... If there's a checkpoint, like, near the end of a stage, that means that it's usually a boss fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, some things are just meant to be intuitive. Some things we've kind of gotten used to. And when you apply it to games that are made by people who don't understand how basic game design works, or how intuitive game level design or game design works, uh, you kind of fuck yourself up. Because you expect- you- Oh, Jesus, I thought it was gonna explode. You hold it to the same standard that you hold those other games. Games that actually work. So in a way, it's kind of your fault. And yeah, I love how you put an- put an enemy that I can't fucking hit, and it's hard to jump over. God, you fucking cock-sucking fuck nugget! <sighs> I don't know, I- I got- all things considered, I got farther than most people would, so I could take- so I can put that on my mantle as something resembling a victory. Uh, this game could go fuck off. I wish the best for the people who designed this game, because it couldn't have been easier working for a loon who didn't know how games are supposed to be programmed. But, uh, still, uh, you, yeah, I, I, I hope you guys have live well, have a happy life, or having happy lives after all this, over. But, uh, you, you guys can go fuck yourself for what you put me through. Goodbye.